Thank you everyone for joining us today. My name is Sean Severson, Head of Climate Tech and Sustainable Investing at Water Tile Research. I'm happy to have uh, Michael Moe today with us, the CEO and co-founder of Cooler Technologies. Uh, today we're gonna be discussing the upcoming uh, Cooler Battery Solutions Day and uh, some, some topics around that uh, specifically. So I'm gonna jump right into it. Uh, and Michael, if you can go ahead and sort of tell us a little bit about what the Battery Solutions Day is. Yeah, hey, Sean, uh, thanks for having us. Uh, great to be here. Uh, yeah, we announced the uh, Cooler Battery Solutions Day. <clears throat> and actually the genesis of that is uh, uh, there's a lot of investor interest in our technology. Um, we feel that we need to give our shareholders uh, a, a lot more complete picture of what we do on the technical side. You know, the typical investor presentation is more business oriented. Uh, but the, on, in one of the conferences uh, last, I think about a month ago, it was a Friday afternoon, about two p, uh, 5 p.m. East Coast time. I did my presentation <clears throat> just to lighten things up a little bit for the Friday afternoon crowd. Uh, I threw in a couple of a slides to show our battery, you know, how batteries blow up, how our solutions work to keep that batteries from blowing up. And I received some very uh, positive feedback uh, from investors on those slides. Uh, they seem to want more. So we think that it may be a good idea to uh, to geek out with some of the interest investors for, I would say for maybe about an hour or so um, to show them what we do. Um, and also we think that we wanna make the information flow more symmetric. Uh, what I mean by that is that we obviously have done a lot of uh, technical presentations to customers, partners, and et cetera. So a lot of that knowledge about our technology is already out there, right? But our shareholders don't ha haven't really received most of that information. So the information, across, you know, the access across uh, the universe out there is quite a bit of an asymmetric. So we want to bring more symmetry to the information flow and give our investors as much information as possible about our technology roadmap and showcase that. And that's what we announced the uh, uh, Battery Solutions Day. Along those lines what, are, lines, what are some of the things that are actually going to be uh, discussed? I mean, what will we be talking about on Battery Solutions Day, give investors some framework what to what to expect? Right. So yeah, battery solutions, they will, 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 will be discussing a whole bunch of things. Um, the battery storage and transportation solution side uh, will showcase how our thermal runaway shield TRS works. Uh, we'll do some technical demonstration. Uh, we'll show how that works with the Department of Transportation special permits that we've received. Um, and also how we're helping customers to reduce complexity in their business operation and logistics with our product. Uh, I hope by that time we'll have uh, our customers and partners showcase Oh, by the way, the Battery Solutions Day is on September the 21st. Um, so it's, on a, it's on a Tuesday. Um, and then also we'll, we'll, we'll show the passive propagation uh, solution uh, for energy storage systems. We'll do technical, te technical demonstration on the TR, how the TRS works to stop thermal runaway propagation in ESS applications. Uh, we'll also have customer showcase and how we meet the UL and other uh, fire safety standards you know, on that. Um, then we have our battery, uh, smart, uh, safe batteries um, that we showcase that in the drone application and other applications. And tied to that would be battery uh, uh, intelligence, mm -hmm. cell analytics, whole bunch of software services that we've been developing. Uh, so we would uh, like to showcase those as well. Uh, last but not least, it's a new uh, architecture of battery cell design using our carbon fiber technology. Um, you know, we're, we're thermal management people using carbon fiber. So we are exploring ways to how to do that and optimize for uh, fast charging, safety, and better thermal management uh, for lighter weight batteries. So uh, as you can see, a lot to talk about. Absolutely. Um, any significance why September 21st to that particular day, um, you know, seems out there just very, very specific out there ways. <laughs> yeah, well, we, you know, we feel like we need to pick a date, you know, just saying we're going to do something isn't good enough. We've got to pick a date. Right. And that's a date we think that we will come out, you know, when we come out, we'll be able to show, showcase our suite of products, right. not just with the technology, but also customers. Um, so that's really important because based on our current projection and visibility, we expect our customers in those, uh, uh, in those applications will have made their own public announcements. As well, after which we can make our announcements on top of that. So we think that that's a good enough time, you know, between now and then that allow the customers to go out and do that, right? Um, wow. And also on the product development side, we'll have enough time to um, have the new development, the battery intelligence software, the analytics services, as well as the new battery cell design uh, to show, uh, give us enough time to file for patents uh, around some of the technology before we can start showing them. 
And, and talking about uh, getting to data and battery intelligence, uh, maybe touch on that a little bit more and how that's tied into thermal management, kind of the safety heritage that uh, the cooler has. Right. <laughs> yeah, we start with hardware. Uh, that's our heritage in thermal management and battery safety. Uh, then we start thinking about how to aggregate all that data and capture the knowledge. And that you get into data and software services, right? So I come from about you know 20 plus years of uh, background in semiconductor world where chip is the building block and software is really the magic on top. Um, and then our belief is that the battery is going to be the new semiconductor for the, the, the electrification economy. So we want to do the same thing for battery safety and thermal management and create the ultimate platform play. Um, so that's what we show, uh, show showcase at the BSD. And I know you talked a little, you mentioned why September was kind of a key, you know, key time in that date. Um, is there anything investors can expect to look for between now and then, you know, trying to find data points or things that uh, we can look to from the outside to understand the progress? Right. Um, yeah. And I mean, we'll continue to provide regular updates on our products and customer out launches, just like what we have always done, right, through the press release and et cetera. And that won't stop. As a matter of fact, I think that will probably accelerate a little bit more. Uh, for the second half of this year as we just kind of queuing up for more product launches and customer launches. However, the uh, battery solutions day is going to be an aggregation of all the products, the technology, um, a much longer session. We expect to be, you know, probably about an hour with Q&A. Uh, so allow us a really good platform to uh, geek out, if you will, <laughs> uh, uh, the, on the technical session with interested investors. Um, and then, you know, on top of that, we want to provide more visibility, transparency. Now we're on the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, we think that, you know, we hope to position uh, the BSD Battery Solution Day as a regular venue uh, for us another step towards, uh, you know, this transparency toward, towards that direction. So, and I have uh, one, one final question actually on carbon fiber architecture. Um, you know, it has some applications for faster charging and lighter and safer, et cetera. Um, what can we expect to see on that topic, if anything, uh, from Cooler on the, on the battery day? <clears throat> yeah. That's that's a good question. So I think I think that the killer app for battery, uh, in our perspective, uh, is a fast charging. You know, uh, which is one of the you know, and, and and also one of the limiting factor for fast charging uh, is overheating. Uh, we think that there might be ways to solve that problem by using carbon fiber inside a battery cell, other than just out, outside, uh, to reduce thermal and electrical resistance inside the cell, and also be able to spread out the heat better. So we've been ex uh, de developing, exploring, and testing some technology um, as well as structures to make it lighter and safer. Uh, we're in very, very early days. I, I would say in that development, uh, there's a lot of work to do on the testing for uh, electrochemical reactions, cycle life, et cetera. So we want this architecture to work with existing lithium ion battery uh, che chemistry, as well as uh, potentially solid state uh, batteries as well. So it's a long-term strategic development for cooler. Uh, you know, we hope by uh, BSD in September, we'll be able to uh, file a certain number of patents around that and we can show some data and then uh, um, some more work to, to our investors. Great, thanks. So, uh, that's all I have and we're looking forward to uh, September 21st for some more information and uh, thank you, Michael. Great, thank you so much.